A spokesman for the Alameda County Sheriff's Office told Brian Winhorst earlier today that the deputy did not know who Ujiri was, asked him for a credential. Ujiri shoved the deputy out of the way, walked toward the court. The deputy shoved back, the spokesman said, and Ujiri, quote, came forward with a more significant push that ended up striking the deputy in the face. Ujiri is now being investigated for suspicion of misdemeanor battery on a police officer. He is, I believe, no longer here in California. He has returned home, um, but they're still investigating the incident. And a Raptor spokesperson relieved, released the following statement, quote, the incident is being looked at. We are cooperating with authorities. We look forward to resolving the situation. Brian, what more do you know about this? Well, Masai was off the court. He was outside the Raptors locker room um, watching the end of the game. He was watching on TV. Uh, and w once the game ended, he, naturally, he came down the tunnel. I, w I did not witness the incident, but I, was, I talked to some people who were there. And um, he came down the tunnel. In a situation where the finals is clinching, they have different procedures that they do to protect the court a little bit more, especially on the road, because you don't want fans. But by right. the way, there were some Raptor fans who tried to get down the court that I saw the police successfully stop. Right. Um, and there was an increased police presence there last night, the, uh, the uh, sheriff's department told me, because it was the last game at Oracle, and they didn't want people well, to destroy Dismantling this, yes. the arena takes so, to the home. And, and you also have to have different credentials to get in there. Yep. So it may have just been a misunderstanding that boiled over. Obviously, Masai was incredible. I have to imagine. I don't know for so sure. So emotional. But I have to assume was very emotional. Hopefully, this is just a misunderstanding that will get cleared up. Um, but it is unfortunate. I felt so bad last night at 1 a.m. asking the Raptors about this. They're in the middle of celebrating. Right. And they're like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we have this thing we have to look into. But, I mean, listen, man. They just won their first ever title. I mean, they, they, they have played in this arena three times this series, right? And... You got to know who he is. Like I don't know and, about that, Perk, because it was an it, there was but he more, had his, but he had his was, credential in his hand. Yeah, that, that, I don't know about that. No, but I seen it though, Brian. Okay, he had his credential in his hand. Like you know, like he is. He, I mean, he's the GM. Like you know, and, and, and I said this before. You know, going back and forth from Toronto to Golden State, the hospitality was night and day. Um, Golden State was a lot stricter with their rules. With Toronto was more so easy going, embrace you. Oh, okay, Kendra. Hey, Perk, you uh, you working with ESPN? You got your credential? Oh man, I left it in my bag. Don't worry about it. Come on, dude. We know who you are. Like, come on, man. Like, like this is the this is the championship. Obviously, we know. I mean, we we know that you know as a as a police officer, he was doing his job. But man, if you see this man, he's in the tunnel. He has this credential in his hands, not on him, but it's in his hand. He's full of emotions. I just think, you know, let's not blow this out of proportion. I, I, that, I will say that the be... sheriff's office told me that they were specifically asked by the NBA to be strict enforcing on the credentials. That's that's all I'm going to say that they, that they said. <laughs> I believe I believe all of that's true. I am with you on your last sentiment the most, though. Let's not blow it out of proportion. Right. Only in that, fortunately, no one was hurt in right. whatever misunderstanding this was on both sides. And also, as someone who has witnessed more than a dozen of these. Yeah. Uh, this happens a lot. Yeah. It, this is not the first time this has happened. There's a team official in some capacity who's supposed to be somewhere and, and doesn't have exactly what the officer or the security guard wants to see. And sometimes it's a very jostly situation on the court. Absolutely. People are just trying to get through. There is sometimes some pushing and shoving. I have seen this happen, I, again, almost 20 times I can count in my head, different times I've seen it. This is the only time I have ever seen... But Charges I mean, get involved. So let's, let's not, hope that it gets. Resolved. Let's not take away from the big, the big, the big picture. The Raptors won the title. Absolutely. Right? Like let's let's put this in our past and let's just you know have the let the Raptors have their moment.